All right, so if you weren't aware, plans don't always go to plan. When I stepped out this morning, I was like, oh, it's quite humid. Hmm. Oh well, it may or may not rain. And right now, we're in the middle of a little bit of a Florida rain. This isn't quite the Florida rain where it, where it dumps, you know, rains cats and dogs. But I'm pretty well soaked. Yet, the walk continues. The journey to the beach continues. I'm not that far. The beach is right there, a couple blocks away. I'm already wet, so, you know, what's the point? Like, once you're already showered up, <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna get more wet or less wet, so keep on walking. Morning. The other nice part is I'm waterproof. I don't know if you knew that. You're, you're waterproof too, like 99.999% of humans are. So congratulations on, on uh, being that waterproof machine that you are. So I'm not gonna rust, I'm not gonna break down, I'll be fine. And uh, it's actually quite refreshing. Trust me, it gets hot as a son of a gun on the morning walks. On some mornings when the clouds aren't there and the sun is blasting you, it's a, it's a hot journey. So this is kind of refreshing. And I'm uh, also doing a, a wet t-shirt contest. So, you know, who knows? Might make some money in this, uh, this deal. Uh, anyhow, just want to bring some smiles to you and your world in this uh, morning walk and uh, let you know, plans don't always go to plan. Guess what, that's life. There's a, there's a, there's a fun quote from the end of the movie, or the, actually the TV show from the 80s, the A-Team. And it's when Hannibal would light up a cigar because they'd put out this big plan, right? To defeat the enemies. Here's the plan, we're gonna do this and this and this. And right away, the first thing that happens is the plan is shot to hell. The plan goes out the window. And isn't that life? So at the end, of each of the, the TV shows after they win, not by the plan. They had the plan, but the plan got shot to hell right off the bat and they had, they had to do what I learned in the Marine Corps, improvise, adapt, and overcome, and, uh, and trust in their expertise and do what needed to be done. And they would win, right? So at the end, Hannibal would light up a cigar and say, I love it when a plan comes together with a big smile. And uh, that's life, ladies and gentlemen. It's easy in retrospect to look back and connect the dots and say, oh yeah, well yeah, this happened and that happened, but bottom line is we all have a plan and the plan doesn't work for shit. <laughs> you have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And you have to be committed and dedicated to taking one step after the next, even when the downpour occurs, even when the storm comes, even when you have the urge to turn back. You press on, you improvise, you adapt, you overcome, you change the course. You continue taking one step after the next and very soon, many times, morning, sooner than you think, you reach the destination. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this has a conclusion coming up very soon because the destination is a few steps ahead. Um, and that reminds me of the, the TV show, The Smurfs. Papa Smurf, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? Isn't that the journey of life also? Are we there yet? What I found is God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, has a different timetable than me. My expectation was, ah, oh, this, this should be pretty quick. And the journey takes exponentially longer than what I could have ever imagined. But the journey's worth it because you reach the destination when you're committed to taking one step after the next with commitment, with determination. Good morning. Good morning. You reach the destination. And, and guess what? Check this out. How cool is that? At the destination, the clouds part and the sun is there. You reach the destination one step at a time. Look at that. Is it worth it? Yep. Did some people turn back? Probably. Did some people not even begin the journey? Because they, they when they peeked out the door, they saw 
whoa, there's the possibility it might rain, so I'm not even going to start. But you miss out on this, and, and there's, there's the reality of this. How many more sunrises do we get to see, do we get to witness? None of us know that answer. Well, I'm at a point where I'm in the present moment, and I'm confident in my discernment, my ability to discern of all the things I could choose to do and choose not to do. I'm pretty good at choosing what is mine to do in each of the moments called the present as the day unfolds and uh, when you can reach that point this is the game of life this is a game that the way I describe it to my kids and describe it to my friends and clients and we'll describe it to you is this is just like going to an amusement park and when we go to an amusement park, we have the plan as to we're going to be there bright and early, right when it opens, and we know which ride we're going to first. We all huddle around, okay, where are we going first? And we go to that ride. And then when we're off that ride, okay, where are we going next? All right, we're going to that one. And, and we'll ask uh, people, we, hey, we're going to this ride. How, what's the quickest way to get there? Okay, turn left, turn right, turn here. Okay, great, we go. Sometimes when you get there, oh, sorry, folks, the ride's closed. Ah. You're disappointed for like two seconds. And they say, okay, where are we going next? So you are where you are in the greatest amusement park in the universe. Where are you going next? What's your next move? Go there with urgency. Go there with all you've got. The rains will come. The storms will come. Persevere. Have the determination, the discipline, the commitment to take one step after the next, improvising, adapting, and overcoming as the journey unfolds. And when you arrive, enjoy the journey, enjoy the ride. Do it, and then ask what's next. This is a continual game in this amusement park, the greatest amusement park in the universe of what's next. Well, what's next is awesomeness. What's next is exploration. I hope you enjoy the day. What's next for me is to get back this is the halfway point is to get back to my home base and jump into some amazing projects that are in motion right now. Deliver some massive value to each of those projects and enjoy the gift of the present this day. I hope that is the same experience for you, that you're enjoying each moment, that you trust your discernment. You're walking boldly, confidently, purposefully to that next destination that you have and as I always say you're choosing to make today great make today great I'll chat with you soon bye for now